guys, it's Mermaid Gemini. Um, I'm starting this YouTube channel just to talk about reviews on mermaid products. Basically so that you, the reviewer, can see these products more in depth and then you can determine whether they're good for you or not. Each product I'm going to be personally testing myself so that I can tell you what I think. And each review I'm going to be doing is going to be totally honest. So the first product that I'm going to be reviewing is the Finfall Productions Mythic Tail. This is Finfall Productions' first tail that they're doing that's like an on-command tail. Not really much of a wait time, and it's already pre-sized for you. With all of this pre-sizing, um, a lot of people are really paranoid about, is my tail going to fit me? Um, am I too tall for the tail? What's going on? So, just so you can get an idea, here's a video of me in the tail. part of my booty all the way around is 38 inches and I wear a size 6 in pants. So I felt this tail was a very good fit for me. It's a size small, um, feels great. But I did want to really test it out and see how would this tail look like on someone who is taller than me. So I had my lovely mother, mom don't hate me I'm playing a video of you, in this tail. So here's a video. same exact tail as me and as you can tell she is 5 8 and 3 quarters and this tail is too small on her um, that's just so you get an idea of size wise so if you are a taller person I do not recommend this tail for you but if you are 5 5 and under you could probably be like 5 6 and get away with it or 5 7 maybe but if you're 5 5 and shorter that's ideal one of the questions I was asked was do you think you could easily remove the fins if you tried to? Honestly, if you try hard enough, you can do anything. Do I recommend it? No, I, I don't recommend it. If you get the extra fins, I think you should just enjoy them. They're really beautiful. One of the other questions I got was, do the fins feel like they're well attached? Do you feel that they're going to fall off? Well, if you can see here, I'm not too worried. I feel like the fins are really on there. And when you're swimming, they feel great. They don't feel like they're going anywhere. They're staying for the ride. One of the concerns from one of my Instagram followers was, it does the neoprene show through the scales. When you are wearing the tail, you cannot see even a single trace of the neoprene. It's all hidden by the scales because they are beautifully overlapped. Of course, if you go like this, yeah, you can see the neoprene right here. But that's only if you're bending it when it's not on your body. When it's on your body though, everything stays as it should. If you have your tail on, look a good mermaid, you won't see it. What does the inside look like? This is the inside. It's this beautiful and stretchy fabric. And this really helps you to slip right into the tail. So another great thing about this tail is the zipper is so well hidden, especially if you've got those fins. And looking at it, those scales go all the way to the end. So even if you don't have these extra fins, you're not even going to have a single trace of the zipper. So it zips up very beautifully and very easily as well. And you've got this extra flap here that you put inside your tail. And look at that. Not even a trace of a zipper. Or anything. And it really looks good in the water. You can't even tell. What do the scales look like? What are the scales made of? Well, the scales are made of resin. So more about the scales, as you can see, if I pop one of these scales up, they are sewn on, and they are on there really good. It feels strong. 
and they are all overlapped, which is really nice. And you can see them right now because I'm really pulling the fabric. But when you're in the water, not even a slight trace. And they're quite loud as you can hear. Which I think is really cool because you can just be like, I do have to give some words of precaution so that you don't mess up your first beautiful mythic Finful Productions tale. Um, with these scales, they appear to be painted with something. And I'm going to show you a video of exactly what not to do because I did this and I scuffed up the bottom. So if you can see there, see those little scuffs there? Oops, that was because I was doing the mermaid shuffle. Yeah, don't do the mermaid shuffle. That is not good. With this tail, you really need to protect your scales. No kneeling, no jumping. Even if you sit on it, be careful. Put something soft under you. If you're gonna be getting into the pool, don't put pressure on your scales. Just put a towel underneath you, shimmy into your tail, you'll be okay. I know you like shuffling, but don't do the mermaid shuffle. That's not okay. One of the questions I was asked too, how much does the tail weigh? Just by lifting it, it's about 20 pounds. With this tail, the drainage goes through the tail. So ever so slightly at the tips of the tail, you can kind of see that along here, there are little seams every once in a while and it looks like netting. So if I just kinda, loop, if you can see that, you probably can't. Okay, so if you can see this, this is the drainage, and the water like, whoop, right through, and you're good to go. So now we're gonna get up close and personal with this tail. You can see the beautiful detail of the silicone until it blends up into the scales, and each fin is beautifully painted. It's just an overall, just a beautiful tail. Funny story about the tail, actually. Um, me and my really good friend, Mermaid Safira, I'm gonna play a video of us right now. So this is me and Safira. Um, we were both online the night that we knew it was gonna be released, and we were both refreshing the page like crazy. So, um, I was order 1002, and she was order 1003. So it was just, oh, it was amazing. Um, we were, I believe, the first ones to order the tail, unless there was a 1000 that slipped in there, and a 1001. Who knows? So this video is actually brought to you by Virtuoso. 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 What I got from her were these arm fins. They're super cute and they feel really nice on. I actually was doing this video because this lovely woman um, had offered up to mermaids. She's like, hey, I've got this product. Is there anybody out there willing to write a review about it or a YouTube video or anything? And I was like, me, I will do the deed. I want to do this. So I've always been wanting to make a YouTube video. So here's my time. Um, when I first got these, I could not stop playing with them because they're like, they're so cool. Um, here's a video of me swimming in them. As you can see, they look really nice in the water. So that's how they swim. They feel really great on. She offers different sizes. She custom makes them to your arm. You send her your measurements and tell her what you want here. So you can say, I want these colors and the extra long. These are the extra long. These are great for land gigs as well as underwater gigs. So it's like a double win. So a special thank you to Virtuoso for sending these to me for me to review. I am super thrilled. I'll have a link below of her shop, as well as the Finfold Production shop right down below. 
That being said, if anybody has any questions for me, feel free to ask questions below. If anybody has any products they want me to try and to do a review on, feel free to put that in the comments below. suck if these videos are not in focus. Focus on me. Focus on me. Okay, don't add that. That's really stupid. Okay. Am I in focus? Yeah, I'm in focus. I think so. Look, mommy. I'm a car wash. So you can kind of see they have that cool motion of the ocean in them. If you'd like to see more awesome reviews in the future, please subscribe, please. Please. No, that's really bad. Okay. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, please do. Please do. I post really cool stuff, I think. Please follow me on Instagram. <laughs>